Hi, my name is Dan, and in this video I'm going to talk about adding components to a Blueprint class. Um, we've actually seen that being done over the last uh, few uh, videos in this short series, and I should say that then that this is part of a short series, uh, which is an introduction to Blueprint classes, and doesn't start dealing with scripting. That's the next series that I'm going to do after this one. We'll be dealing with the, with the visual scripting system um so we've got a setup here which is a, a third person uh, uh template and it's just got a couple of blueprints that i've been creating over this series we've got this bizarre um uh, uh, uh cylinder with a box attached to it and if we play then those cylinders and boxes are rotating so these are two instances from the same blueprints um and uh, yes, this has got collision on it, so it's got interesting effects. We'll stand on it, yeah, rotating, that's fun. Okay, um, and we're going to have a look at uh, how you uh, control and add components to uh, a Blueprint. Uh, so we're going to open up the Blueprint uh, editor. I had already got it up for this my pipe. And uh, just incidentally, that uh, asterisk... That's next to the name there. As in a lot of Windows programs, means that this hasn't been saved. So I'm just going to click save. I like to keep things saved. It's good. Um, and so we're in this components area. And you've seen me add components here already. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a... Uh, well, I'm going to click on add. Uh, and you can see there's a lot of stuff here. There's a, In fact, an overwhelming and a list of things and to explain everything here firstly would be beyond me because i don't understand everything that's here because unreal is huge but also will just take a very very long time uh, so there are basic things we added a cube previously the static meshes so a cube is basically an instance of a static mesh uh, a kind of static mesh there's some ai stuff uh, there's cameras, uh, there's collision stuff. We'll see some of the collision stuff in later uh, videos. Uh, there's uh, gameplay stuff. There's lights. What, what we're going to do is we're going to actually add a point light uh, into our blueprint. And so I just clicked on that. It allows us to rename it. So I'm going to call it. Um, I haven't got a good name. I'm just going to call it Shine. And um, that is, uh, so uh, that, that this hierarchy is important. So I'm going to zoom back out. So no, I'm not zooming in. And even more. There we go. Um, so in the last video, you might have noticed that I tried to move this um, uh, cylinder around. And I was talking to myself and saying, why can't I move it? And the reason is actually really simple is because this element is what's called the root element of the of the blueprint and so everything else is set up in relation to this this is the the location of where uh, the blueprint is is the location of this element so everything else can move relative to it um, but it doesn't move itself um, and uh, shine we've got that light there i'm going to put that light out here Okay, and um, so the whole thing's got a rotating movement on it. And if we compile, and we should be able to see, so everything's rotating, so the light should rotate with it. There we are, we can see the light rotating. Okay. <clears throat> right, I was talking about the hierarchy and the importance of it, because I want to continue talking about that. Because at the moment, the, the shine is... Uh, is attached relative to uh, the root, and so is the cube. Uh, but it's possible to uh, click and drag this uh, light so that actually it's attached to the cube instead uh, of the root. So you can see it indents as we do that. And now if I move the cube, then the light moves with it. So if I were to, for example, rotate this cube, then the light moves with it. If we've got that attached to the static mesh component there, so to the root, go back and uh, rotate this back. 
the light isn't going with it as you can see now let's do let's do that attachment again attach it to the cube if we move the cube the light moves but we can still move the light rel and if we move it now effectively we're moving it uh, relative to that cube um so and it's been rotated so it's got its axis are a little bit weird there we go so we can move that independently of its parent but when we move the parent we move the child as well as you can see let's do a quick compile uh, in we go and change the shape we we'll move where the light is and is everything's changed for both instances of uh, uh, of the blueprint so there's loads and loads of components that you can add as you can see in here um, there's uh, you know audio components so you can have things that play sounds uh, you can have particle systems uh, so we've put a point light in that lots and lots uh, more things and basically to add a, a component you just click add getting rid of a component is pretty easy because you just highlight it and then you right click and do delete there we go and it's changed it and it, we have to recompile so that's controlling components inside a blueprint and that's it from me for now